You have a picture of what you want to do, of where you want to go and who you want to be. Those pictures are your dreams for yourself. Well, God has dreams for your life too. You were created to fulfill them. What does life look like and what does life feel like when our actions, our focus, and our dreams are in sync with God's dreams for us? Come along with us this January as we explore how to live the dream right here, right now. You can awaken to a new sense of purpose and a renewed understanding of who you are. Live the Dream, a teaching series at First United Methodist Church in Cedar Falls. Welcome to Simpson College's annual Lessons and Carols service. I'm Mara Bailey, the college chaplain. On behalf of the staff of Smith Memorial Chapel and our college's music department, it is a delight to bring to you this year's program. In all times, but specifically in this year, we are seeking ways to find hope in the midst of all that this year has brought us. Today, as you hear words from the prophets and the gospels, I invite you to listen for these words of hope. As you hear familiar carols and beautiful choral pieces, Allow yourself to feel the full emotion of this experience. Even in the deepest moments of our wilderness, Advent offers to us a season of expectant waiting and preparation as we search for the light of Christ's birth to break forth. As people of faith, we are invited into this journey and encouraged to share in this hope for the world. As our service begins, I invite you to join with me in prayer. God of wonder, as we begin this service of hope, wonder, and praise, we open our hearts and minds to you. Fill us with your prophetic hope that fills valleys and lowers mountains. Magnify our trust in you, that through your people the lowly may be lifted up and the hungry filled. Bring forth the light of your peace, love, and joy, that all who encounter this true light may know that you abide with us even in the shadows. In the times that feel hectic, anxious, or concerning, may we take a moment to simply breathe. May our hearts grow still, and in the quiet that we now find, may we seek you. Let us hear today, Lord, your truth proclaimed in scripture, your loving promise of presence with us and with all of humanity. May we remember anew your redemption brought to us by this holy child. May this space become glad with our carols of joy and praise. May we know the love and grace of God more clearly in these moments, preparing our hearts once again for the Christ child. For it is in his name that we pray today. Amen.
A reading from Isaiah 40, verses 1 through 11. Comfort, O comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low, and even uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain, then the glory of God shall be revealed, for all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people are grass. Their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up on a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength. O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Says to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord comes with might, and his arms rule for him. His reward is with him, and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead the mother sheep.
A reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, verses 46 through 55. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength in his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel, his remembrance of his mercy. According to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. Here ends the lesson.
reading from the Gospel of John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
My name is Eric Rucker. I am the director of the Simpson Youth Academy here on campus. And before we move to our benediction, we want to take just a moment to say thank you to so many people who have made this service possible uh, in the midst of this challenging condition of the pandemic. We are grateful to the Simpson College Music Department for the beautiful arrangements that they provided for this service. We are grateful for the chapel staff at Simpson College for coordinating the service. And of course, we are grateful to the high school and college students who have provided reflections and readings for this event from the Simpson Youth Academy and the religious life community. Last but not least, we want to thank each of you who are tuning in and worshiping with us. We are so grateful that you are a part of our extended Lessons and Carols community and connected to Simpson College. If you have high school students in your community or congregation who you'd like to nominate for our Simpson Youth Academy program, or if you'd like to provide a gift, a financial donation to the programs and students who made this service possible tonight, you have a couple options. You can reach out to your pastor to make that connection. You can reach out directly to us at the chapel. Or if you'd like to, there will be information connected to this video through links on our pages, and you can get connected through that avenue as well. Friends, now I invite you to receive this benediction. What good is it if Mary gave birth to the Son of God 2,000 years ago, if I do not give birth to the Son of God in my own person and time and culture? So, like Mary, go from this place to bring forth the love of Christ with justice and compassion. Amen.